Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some amazing new features from One UI 8 on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. The best part, these updates are slowly rolling out to other Galaxy phones as well, so you don't have to own the S25 Ultra to enjoy them. So if you're someone who loves exploring new tricks, shortcuts, and hidden gems on your Samsung device, you're going to love what One UI 8 brings to the table. I'll go step by step explaining each feature in details, showing you why it's useful and how to make your daily experience even smoother. And hey, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below about your favorite One UI feature. So now let's begin. So the first feature is where you have your scroll and translate with Google. So One UI 8 now integrates a smooth scroll and translate option. So instead of having to copy and paste text into Google Translate, you can simply scroll on your screen and it instantly translates all the content on screen. So whether it's an article or web page or even text inside the supported apps. So let me show you how to use this. So here we'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And here I've just gone to a Cricut website. So let's just say my native language is not English. Now let's say my native language is maybe Chinese or maybe Spanish. So I can go ahead and use Google Translate to translate all of these into my preferred language. So I can go ahead and long press on the home button. Now here I'll see this bar. I'll tap on the translate button. Now you'll see this Google is analyzing your screen. At the top here, you'll see English to whatever language you want to translate in. So let's go ahead and change this to Chinese. Now I need to go ahead and tap on scroll and translate. Now I can go ahead and scroll and this will translate everything in real time. So it'll show me the English text first, then we'll start to translate whatever is there. So this saves time by eliminating the need to switch apps. So this is perfect for students, travelers, or anyone reading multilingual content. So this works seamlessly across most apps with a fluid scrolling experience. The second feature is where you can create instant slow-mo. So with the update of the Galaxy Enhance X app, you can now take any video and instantly apply slow motion effects, even if it wasn't recorded in slow-mo. So the AI powered system generates extra frames to make that playback buttery smooth. So let me show you how to do this. So before you begin, you want to first go ahead and open up your Galaxy Store. You want to make sure your Galaxy Enhance app has been updated to the latest version. So go ahead and search for Galaxy Enhance app. Make sure that's been updated. Now, once that's updated, go ahead and open the app. In the app, you want to go ahead and choose that video. Let's go ahead and choose this video here. Now I want to go ahead and choose slow-mo. So I can go ahead and choose what frame I want to go ahead and create slow-mo, or I can go ahead and choose the whole video. So I'll tap on slow-mo. And now I can go ahead and press where I want the slow-mo to happen. So I'll go ahead and just keep pressing it. Leave it for a while, then I'll want slow-mo here as well. And then I'll leave that. So now I've created two slow-mo videos, so I can go ahead and view them and the other one. And now using that, I can go ahead and save or save it all. So I can choose any of them I like. I can go ahead and save them, or I can go ahead and share it as well. So this way you can revive your old videos with cinematic slow-mo effects. No need to plan ahead and record in slow-mo. This is great for sports, pets, action shots, or just fun creative shots. Third feature is where Gemini can now point on screen. So with One UI 8, Samsung's Gemini AI Assistant has gotten a major upgrade. So if you show Gemini multiple items on your screen, for example, three different phones, products, or menu choices, you can simply ask which one is the best. Gemini will literally mark a dot on the item it recommends right on your screen. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Play Store. You wanna go ahead and search for Gemini. Make sure that's been updated to the latest version. Now, once that's updated, you wanna go ahead and open up Gemini. Now you wanna go ahead and open up Live Gemini. And then go ahead and open up your camera. So now Gemini is basically looking through your camera and you can go ahead and ask any question you like. So here I've got two plants. I'll go ahead and ask which one is the white color. The one in the white pot is the lighter color. Is there anything else I can help you with? Which one has a sharp leaf? The leaves on the plant 
plant in the cork pot looks sharper. Which one is a bigger? Which one is a smaller plant? The plant in the white pot is the smaller one. So this makes decision making super easy by visually highlighting the best option. So no need to read through endless comparisons. Gemini does the analysis for you. So this is useful for shopping, comparing tech specs, choosing restaurants and more. And this feels more interactive and human-like since it doesn't just gives you text, it points directly at the subject. The fourth feature is where you can create event and reminders directly from Samsung Calendar. So the Samsung Calendar app now makes it super simple to create events and reminders directly on your calendar screen without diving into multiple menus. So a long tap or a quick option lets you set it instantly. So here we'll go ahead and start the calendar. Now let's just say, for example, on the 26th on Friday, I have an event. So I can go ahead and tap on this plus sign. And here at the top, I can go ahead and choose event or a reminder. So both of these options appear here. I can instantly choose what I want. If it's an event, I can choose event. If it's a reminder, I can choose event reminder. So this is ultra fast scheduling without breaking your workflow. It keeps work, personal life and deadlines organized and it syncs seamlessly with other Galaxy devices and Samsung Cloud. The fifth feature is where you can add a count up widget. So you can now place countdown or count up widgets right on your home screen. So whether you're counting down to a big trip, exam or a birthday, or tracking how long since a milestone event. So this widget keeps it front and center. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on our home screen. Next, we'll tap on widgets. Now we'll go ahead and find the calendar widget. Now from here, you'll see the countdown widget. So now as it reads, it basically says a countdown. There is no count up widget. Within the countdown widget, you have the count up widget. So let's just say, for example, this widget here. So we'll go ahead and add it. Now this is added, so I'll go ahead and tap on start. And now here, I've got a dog wet visit, which was already gone, 15th of September. I've got a daylight saving ends, and I've got Halloween. Now let's just say I wanna keep track of my dog's wet visit. So how many days ago I visited my dog's wet? So I can go ahead and select that. And then I can go ahead and select if I wanna start from one day or leave it as that, and then press save. So now here, this will show me a count up widget where it's telling me the dog wet visit was nine days ago. So instead of counting down to an event, it count up. So you have motivation for personal goals. So this way you can add personalization and functionality to your home screen. It helps keep track time sensitive events at a glance. The sixth feature is where you can select multiple images as your wallpaper. So with one UI 8, you can now choose multiple images as wallpaper. So instead of being stuck with just one, your phone automatically rotates between these selected wallpapers or images, giving you a fresh look every time you wake up your phone. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on our home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. Now we'll go ahead and tap on our lock screen. And now here we'll tap on wallpapers. And here we'll go ahead and choose wallpapers. So you can go ahead and choose all these suggested wallpapers from Galaxy AI, or you can go ahead and choose from your gallery. So I'll go ahead and choose something from my gallery here. So let's just say, for example, I'll go ahead and choose some wallpapers. Now I'll tap done. So now I've selected six wallpapers to choose from. So these are all the wallpapers I've chosen. I can go ahead and apply all the filters on it if I want. I'll just leave it as normal. And then I can go ahead and tap on done. Now, when I go ahead and look at my wallpaper, so I lock my screen and wake it up, each time I'm getting a new wallpaper. So this makes your device feel new and dynamic every day. It's perfect for people who love photography or customization, and it adds a personality and prevents wallpaper fatigue. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you have quick access to quick share. So Samsung's quick share is now even faster to access with one UI 8. You can simply open it from the quick panel menu, letting you share files, photos, and videos with any nearby Galaxy devices or even window PC seamlessly. So first you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, then expand these icons. Now from here, find quick share. So as you can see, quick share is already selected on for me. However, it's only contacts. So I can go ahead and tap on it again. This will take me to my quick share menu. Now here I have two options, receive or send. If I wanna send file, I can go ahead and select a file, tap done. 
This will tell me how many images I'm sending, how big is the files. Then I can go ahead and start scanning any nearby Samsung Galaxy devices. So this removes the need for any third-party apps for sharing. It's extremely fast and secure compared to Bluetooth. And this is great for collaboration, school or workplace sharing. And that's it, seven powerful new features in One UI 8 that makes your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and other Galaxy phones soon, smarter, smoother, and more fun to use. Which of these features are you most excited about? Let me know in the comment section down below. I love hearing your thoughts. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more Galaxy tips and tricks, and share this with your friend who just got the update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.